Hello everyone welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the best ways to farm cash in every sea and every way to get cash in Blark's fruits. Without further ado let's begin. So now we are back in first sea and this part of the game is pretty straightforward since there is nothing like sea beasts that you could use to grind money. So if you are still under level 700 and in the first sea the best things you could do to gain money here is probably to either chest grind in the upper sky island inside the secret temple since it has 8 chests with around 1000 cash each one. So you roughly get 8000 cash every time you collect the chests, you could serve a hop, and do it 10 times to get 80,000, and keep grinding I guess, however this is not recommended, since it is pretty slow and the second method is way better in my opinion, which is to kill the vice admiral boss and server, hop and repeat the process, the boss is pretty weak and every time you kill it, you get 15,000 cash, if you get the quest. So you can grind cash way faster, and also get EXP and level up while grinding. Credits to GamerNom for finding this trick, and it is probably the best one in first C. Anyways that's all for first C let's move on to the next one. Alright so now that we are in second C the game has way more things to do compared to in first C. Firstly if you want to boss grind here the bosses I recommend you serve a hop and kill is the Jeremy boss since not many people kill it and it will be easier to find and also it gives you around 27,000 cash without 2 times money and it is over 50,000. Every quest kill if you have the 2 times money game pass if you don't you should keep rolling fruits and store them while you are in the first C. And if you get lucky you can trade it in the second C for the game pass and get more money. It can be difficult to find. But if you do get it, it's a really worth it gamapus. Along with the bosses and chest farming there is one new way to farm money which is sea beast hunting. So sea beasts are mini bosses which spawn randomly when you are sailing across the sea and this mini boss is immune to M1s and takes damage by only certain moves. The best fruit to kill it with is the magma awakening and once you kill it, you get anywhere from 100,000 to 200,000 cash in a single kill. If you get lucky you can find 5 in 10 minutes and that is easy 2 million cash however the only drawback to this is that sometimes. It can take a really really long time to spawn, but it can be really overpowered if you do it right. Along with the sea beasts there is another new sea event in this sea which is the ship raids. It doesn't give any cash but it drops fragments and has a low chance of dropping a devil fruit every time you kill it. And the good thing about it is that you can get literally any fruit from it and all of them have the same percentage so it's more likely for you to get a overpowered fruit like leopard or doe from the ship raids than rolling fruits. But yeah that wraps up second C2 let's move on to the last one. So in the third C you could do all the methods mentioned for the first and second C. If you want to boss hunt I recommend you kill the Kilo Admiral, since it gives 35,000 cash per quest and once you kill it, you get an additional 10,000 cash, that is 45,000 in total and 90,000 if you have 2 times money game pass. This boss is not that hard to kill and has really good rewards compared to other stronger bosses like Cake Queen and stuff. Other than that you could also do sea beasts in this sea, if you want, because you will be much stronger and will be able to kill the sea beast much faster. Along with this there is another sea event which is called 
Beasts, the rumbling waters. This is the same thing as sea beasts, but this time instead of 1-3 spawn at once, and they give the same amount as cash as normal sea beasts so, if you have the magma awakening in the fishman race you can easily take down the 3 sea beasts, and get 3 times more cash than you usually would get. So getting sea beasts is pretty common in 3rd C and a easy way, to grind cash I guess. Along with that there is another NPC called the Death King in the Haunted Castle from which you can roll random surprises with bones and there is a chance you get cash. It's not that quick, but you can still do it I guess. Lastly the easiest thing you could do is get a Buddha fruit and AFK kill NPCs overnight. 